What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. Mark in and mark out in DaVinci Resolve. Version 15 of DaVinci Resolve is used in this tutorial. Looking at my timeline in the bottom here in my edit window, you can see two different MP4 files on my timeline, each within their own edit. Project 1 for my media pool and Project 2. As covered in previous tutorials, you can use the selection mode tool as well as other tools available within the edit window to modify individual edits on your timeline such as the selections I'm doing here and also the blade edit mode to make trims within your edit. Note how I'm only editing one edit at a particular time which is highlighted with a red outline. What if you wanted to edit multiple edits at the same time? My red indicator is currently at the start of my video at zero seconds. I'm going to drag this two seconds along the timeline by left clicking and dragging this over. What I'm going to do now is use the first mark button which will be mark in. You can left click on the arrow button or alternatively press I on your keyboard. I'm now going to drag my indicator four seconds further along my timeline to the six second mark. Now I'm going to left click once on the other mark tool, mark out. Alternatively you can press O on your keyboard. Note how when I left click off the actual edits, the section underneath the grey line which appears is highlighted, whereas the remainder of my timeline before the mark in and after the mark out is obscured by a dark shade. This is basically telling me that the section underneath the grey line is currently selected. What I can do as an example is copy the content in this particular section from the two second mark to the six second mark. I'm going to press Ctrl and C on my keyboard. Use Command instead of Ctrl if you're a Mac user. I'm now going to drag my red indicator to the end of the timeline. What I'm now going to do is move the grey line over to where my red indicator is at the end of my timeline so that I can paste this four second segment after my initial two edits. Since my red indicator is already at the end of my final edit, I can press I here and note how it changes location. If I drag the red indicator across my four seconds from nine up to around 13, I will now press O and finally Control and V, V for vegetable, to paste the four second segment that I copied early on on my timeline. You can also use backspace to remove this highlighted section or alternatively press delete. Sometimes the mark in and mark out options are used merely for highlighting a particular section on your timeline for the editor's information. Similar to what was covered in a previous color flags and markers tutorial on my channel. If you right click on the gray line and select convert in and out to duration marker, then two colored marker points will appear, one at either end of your gray mark in and out line. If you double left click on one of these, you should have a window appear where you can write notes for the video editor's information. Such as the example here, four second montage. And you can also change the color. If I undo and drag my red indicator back to the start, and use the skip button. Note how the red indicator jumps straight to the mark in section of the gray line. If I press the skip button again, it goes along to the edit break in the middle. And then finally, one more time, the red indicator jumps to the mark out section of the gray line. This technique wouldn't work, however, if you were to remove the mark in and mark out sections from your timeline and just leave the color markers instead. As you can see here in this demonstration, when I click on the skip button, the start of the colored marker is ignored by the red indicator, as is the closing colored marker. If you were ever in the situation where you were editing a video and you only had highlighted sections on your timeline using the color markers option, such as the example in blue here. What you can also do is convert this to a mark in and mark out gray line also. 
simply by right clicking anywhere on the actual color line and selecting set in and out from duration marker. The gray mark in and mark outline will appear in between the in and out color markers. And what you can also do is remove the color markers from the gray mark in mark outline by right clicking and choosing remove selected markers. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video was useful to you. To support this channel, please like and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.